one day after people. In the mountains 70 miles north of San Francisco, a pungent mist fills the sky. Trouble is brewing at the largest geothermal complex in the world. That's because underneath this 40 square mile complex, heat radiating from the very core of the earth turns water into superheated steam, blasting it toward the surface at a scalding 455 degrees Fahrenheit. Man constructed more than 20 power plants here, designed to capture and harness this searing natural power source. We're producing natural steam out of the ground, drilling wells deep into the ground, several miles below our feet, collecting the steam through pipelines, piping it over land to power plants. And what you see behind me is a power plant converting steam energy into electrical power. 40% of all the geothermal power in the United States was produced here. Enough electricity to power more than a million homes. But with those homes now empty, this carefully balanced system is teetering on the verge of collapse. As with other types of power plants, without people to use the electricity generated here, the plant will automatically shut down. Now, superheated steam from deep inside the planet has no release. And the pressure begins to build. Six years after people, large numbers of deer gather on the site of the geysers geothermal field in Northern California. They are drawn here by the heat radiating from the 80 miles of steam pipes left behind by man. Although the massive cooling towers and power plants shut down long ago, 40,000 pounds of steam per hour continues to fill the pipes. Now, the deer are in for an unpleasant surprise. Over time, with no one to do maintenance on the pipelines, we'd start having corrosion leaks. We would start having steam vents, and they would grow bigger and bigger and louder and louder. It's very much like listening to a jet engine, and that would go on probably for many years. Years of pressure buildup finally come to a head. Deep within the Earth's core, water hits magma, and from that collision comes the crushing power of superheated steam. The corroding pipes can no longer handle the pressure. 